Hello, welcome back to Car Chat TV. In today's episode, we're gonna go straight in and we're gonna do the infotainment and talk about it of what you get in the MG4. So let's get it. First things up is you have these four widgets here when you, you jump in the car. There's no on button, so it just comes in immediately when you jump in, put your foot on the brake. You've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. You've got these physical buttons on the front, air conditioning, front windscreen, heated rear screen, uh, rear windscreen there hazards home button and then your up and down buttons so first things first if you click here this is where your charge is we can click there we can see you've got a button that does maximum current or you could change it depending on what you want to charge obviously i've left it on maximum current and then if we click the settings button here <clears throat> you can do scheduled charging all you got to do is turn that on and off Charging starts, set your time, set the end, and then a button here to allow charging to continue after set time if it's not going to be full. Um, back into, let's go back here again, click here, and then you can see your display of the car, whereabouts it is, battery mode, how many miles you'll get, 100%, it says 261. This is the SE long range, so it should do 281 mg say. And then if you click, uh, we'll go back to this, show you this one. If you click discharging and then click that, that is for a V2L loader. So if you have an adapter, you want to charge a coffee machine up or a microwave, you can do that. But you must jump back in the car and then click start discharging. Because if you don't, it will not charge your appliance. That's what the discharge setting is all about. If you click energy consumption here, this is a cool little display. You can see uh, a little bar graph here and then intelligent battery heating. I've turned this off at the moment because normally you only have it on if you read that. Basically, when you have it on, it can sap up to 30 miles of range from your battery to warm the battery up so it charges more efficiently. Obviously, if it's a really cold day or minus degrees, it's great to have it on because it will charge your car quicker. A little energy flow meter there. And then this is kind of cool. This is a re regen meter. So if I click since last charge, it says I've done 25 kilowatts um, since the last charge. Very interesting and very simple and easy infotainment to use. Back here, then we go to the radio. Click that. Um, pretty simple. You've got DAB, FM buttons here. You can click here for a list to find some of your favorites. Click on those and then click the little heart there to favorite your favorite radio stations. Come back out of that. Uh, the AC, now a lot of people slate the AC, but actually you can use the AC from this part of your steering wheel, multifunctional steering wheel, which I will talk to you right now actually, might as well. So if you if I click the star button, which is quite easy to set up, when you have the star button, it brings up the AC. If I press up, it does the, hang on, if I press the star button now, there we go. There we go. If I press the star button, when I press it up, you can see it turns on the fan. If I press up again on the button, it's going to move the the degrees. So up and down does the degrees, and then left and right does the fan. All right. So if you want the fan to go really high, you do that. If you want it down, very easy. And if I just press it down, it does auto. So it's very very good shortcut um, that you can set up easy. If not. You can just go into there and then pr literally press where you want it to be. You can turn it on, you can press there. Some of these other bits you can press. Um, however, you might find the easiest way to use it is just these buttons here. Those ones, there you go. Eco, you've got air, all the buttons, and then turn it off. So there you go, that's the air con. Um, obviously, I understand if you're driving along and you're trying to jab with your finger when you're driving is pretty hard. So I just always use the right joystick of the multifunctional steering wheel. And actually, I spoke about that in my review of the car. Um, I just want to go back on there because I like looking at the green. Anyway, let's go across. Uh, AC again, we just spoke about. If I press that, it takes us back into there. Phone, that's where you can sync up your, your phone, your Bluetooth and sort all that stuff out. Contacts, keypad. Um, go back, uh, vehicle, this is where you're going to be using a lot. So drive modes, you've got five drive modes there. Snow, eco, normal, sport, custom. I do love having the custom on, changing up, starting the steering, the horsepower, the steering, and the pedal force. Uh, that's what had it on set last because the, the comfort was just too light. 
it's weird me saying that because I always like a light steering wheel. Um, but that would just felt a little bit better. And then injury recovery is your regenerative braking. Adaptive for most times. And definitely if I'm on the motorway, I use adaptive. High uh, is what I do for everything else. Then if I go, um, let's just put it on eco so you can see that. Energy saving mode. Obviously when you want to use minimal energy from the battery, you're trying to get home, you're scrimping and saving. It stops the AC, it stops other bits. It just uses the tiniest amount of energy from your car, like the, the minimal. So only put that on when you're having a bit of a panic and you want to get back. MG Pilot, so you've got buttons here you can turn off speed limit mode, cruise control. You've got the adaptive cruise control set in and then the traffic jam assist, which you then can use from your left joystick on the multifunctional steering wheel. Just press that button to turn it on. Uh, that one will go, if you press it up, that will do the miles per hour. Down will change the miles per hour and then left and right will do your distance to the car in front when you set it. And if you want to turn it off, just press the, there you go, that button, the steering wheel button to turn it off. Okay, and then we go back down to look through these. You've got assist modes, audible warning, a vibration reminder, traffic sign recognition. That's pretty handy as well. It shows you up the top here, traffic sign. Uh, alert sensitivity, unsteady driver warning, and there you go, sensitivity again down there. Go into convenience. This is where you can set up your star buttons. So on my steering wheel, I've got one favorite there and a favorite there, left side, right side. On the left side, hill board one touch open. If I press that, that's what happens. If you, it's just, it's a little bit like a phone, isn't it? That is what happens and you can choose what you need to do there. If you've ever wondered about what happens when you put a screen off, that's what you get, just the time. So if you ever want to bring that down, just go like that bring it down from the top it, like a phone just swipe down or obviously just press if you have that set up to your favorite or you can change it over to carplay android auto which i'm guessing a lot of people will for the right side of the star favorite you can have the ac or the src now that's just the radio that is just the radio It'll bring up the radio um at the moment it's ac so when i press this like i showed you before it goes to that it even shows you the buttons on the joystick up, down, all around. Doesn't give you much time, but there you go. And then you've got uh, unlock using keys, all doors, or just driver doors, if you want. Um, unlock modes, all doors, driver doors, some more, and that's from that. Then we go into the lighting. Follow me home, everything's on. That means your lights are gonna stay on a little bit longer. Like when you get out of the car, you get your keys to get in your house, or you're trying to get to your car uh, in, the, in the car park. So you've got auto high beam, find my car response, feedback, flashing, flashing, and horn. Um, I have thought about taking it off flashing horn because every now and again it does catch me out and then uh, welcome light and then you go into safety auto hold power off then your only options there and we go into video so that was vehicle video if you've got a USB you can put in a you know USB down here you've got a USB I should drop it USB here's quite hard to get to USB and USB C I don't mean quite hard to get to like obviously you can do it with your hand but you've got to bring your head down to behind this bit to see it. You can thread up through there. There's some holes uh, either side, the wires to come through here. Do you know what? It's so fiddly though. I have not been able to do it. Obviously on the trophy spec, you get wireless charge pad, but I just, I cannot get this done. It is so fiddly, like my nails. Anyway, and I end up, you know, you end up just sort of kind of damaging it, but I've just left it because I can't be bothered. Uh, back to this one, settings. There you go, um, what we got, this is currently on system. We've got general, you can, oh, I have it on dark because I genuinely think it looks a little bit more sleeker than the light. I think that looks dated, That to me that looks really cheap and dated and doesn't obviously marry up with the digital dash. So I just leave it on dark mode. I think it looks a little bit more modern and minimalistic. It matches with the you know, the piano black gloss and the dark trim of the car. Uh, language, obviously, uh, I speak 24 languages, so I could probably get away with that, but you guys want to put it on whatever you want. Um, 24 hour auto set time, units, clock display and standby. There you go, uh, Bluetooth, that's where you can find all those other bits. Volume settings, USB storage, 
user manual that's got no files and oh actually bind vehicle um i don't know what that is i'm open to suggestions guys does anybody know what bind vehicle is do i press that and all of a sudden does the does the car become wrapped is it become bound in some really cool uh iridescent bright color wrap that'd be really cool probably not oliver but that is it uh radio we've seen yep energy management screen we have seen as well and user manual we've done that which we just literally walked through that so that is the the walkthrough of the mg4 infotainment screen i've tried to run through it as quick as possible because i know sometimes videos like these can be really boring uh hopefully you've learned something um that is the digital dash that is seven inches and that is 10.25 inches there you go hit the like button comment down below let me know what buying vehicle means and don't forget to get subbed and i'll see you on the next one